Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. In this video, I'd like to show you what is inside the Dell desktop. And the desktop here, we got it in the year of 2022. And let me show you the model number. So if you turn it around at the very bottom of the desktop, you can see that the model is D29M. And this is the Inspiron 38, 3880. So this is the model of Dell Inspiron 3880. And the model is D29M. So i like to take it apart um, and show you what are the things that you can upgrade as well as um, a replacement if things are not working out, right? If things are broken and uh, hopefully I can explain to you what I see and, and we go from there, all right? So um, first thing you can use a Phillips screwdriver and go ahead and remove the two screws here. This is the side panel. Once you remove the two screws, you can slide the side panel to your left and that's how you remove it. All right, let's take a tour here. So this is the uh, CPU fan, which is like the hood, the vent is directing the air out to the back of the desktop. So meaning that um, the fan is blowing air out to the back of the, uh, uh, the desktop by having this hood, the channel channeling to the uh, to the back of it right so but the back here doesn't have a fan so what you can do i don't think you can add a fan here sorry i was thinking to tell you to add a fan but i don't think you can do that okay so let's go ahead and remove the uh the part here so what you want to do is you just want to press and press onto this two little clipper and once you press it down you can remove the uh the vent, oh, not the vent, but the, the hood, whatever you call this, okay? All right, so this is the CPU fan. You notice that the fan is facing the other direction. Usually the fan would be blowing air towards the heatsink, but the model they make on this one is the opposite direction, is sucking the air from the heatsink into that hood and exhausting to the back of the, uh, the computer. Now, if you feel comfortable by how do how do i set it by um flipping over the fan if you prefer the fan to blow air onto the heatsink the heatsink which is the sewer plate right here then you can flip the fan upside down so that you would have a room and install a third party uh, exhaust fan right so you can buy Another 90 millimeter fan, probably you would have to zip tie. I don't see any screw that you can screw in for the fan. So you probably have to zip tie it and then exhausting the, the air out. So that's one way to do it. <coughs> Excuse me. Now let's talk about the hard drive. So this is the M.2 solid state drive. Let's go ahead and remove the screw. So more likely the, uh, the, uh, what do you call that? Your windows. Your windows, um, everything is installed in this solid state drive. Uh, this is the mini one, which is tiny little solid state drive. Uh, I recommend you to maybe get a full size. Let me see. So like, like a full size M.2, you can go ahead and move the screw here and then move it to the back. Therefore, you can upgrade to a larger um, M.2 drive, okay? So this is running on, let's see, how big is this drive here? 256. So I know that it's hard for you to see it, but if you look on the top right here, it says 256 gigabytes. All right, so this is a small um, M.2 drive. You can actually upgrade to a bigger one. Regarding about the RAM, this run on the DDR4 RAM, you can go ahead and push the both sides. So the little um, clipper, it locked the RAM. So if you want to open it, you got to push it away. Once you push the both side away, then you can remove uh, straight up on this DDR4 RAM. Now this is running on an 8 gig PC4, that stands for DDR4. You can upgrade to 16 by having 
additional slot to uh, additional RAM on the second slot. To install is pretty straightforward. Make sure you have the little uh, little gap right there aligned with the uh, opening here. Once you have them aligned in a position and you just want to press it down and the clipper would lock in by itself. All right, let's move on to the next part, which I like to talk about the secondary drive of your um, the storage if you if you want to do that. So what you want to do is go ahead and uh, push this little three clipper. This three clipper, you lift it up and you can just remove the front panel. All right, so this is your front panel. Once you remove that, you can see that the screws, four screws, one, two, three, and four, is holding onto the hard drive. Phillips screwdriver, nothing really fancy. To remove it, you just have to unscrew. All right, so I'm using my hand holding onto the hard drive because when I remove the last screw, the hard drive would just fall right out. Yeah, so make sure you're holding it. Okay, so while you're holding it, now you can just remove the hard drive. This is the one terabyte. Am I right? Yeah, one terabyte hard drive. If you want, you can upgrade to two terabyte if you prefer. And let's move on to the next one. And this is the power supply. So let's talk about what you can do and uh, what, what are the possibility might have happened uh, in case the computer is not turned on. So given scenario, maybe there was a power outage at home. Maybe there was um, a search happen at home or maybe at the office and your computer doesn't turn on. So when you press the power button in the front, no light, no signal, nothing. That means you may have to change out the power supply. It could be the motherboard, but take the cheapest route. Changing the power supply is much cheaper than changing the motherboard, all right? So the power supply here, if you take a look, I, hopefully I can show it to you in the camera. Um, the model here, it says AC200, EBS all right so the power supply are very limited there's a six pin connector here and four pin connector on the top and that's pretty much it I do not see any additional PCIe for your graphics card so if you want to install a graphics card like per se this one and assuming I know this is not new. Uh, assuming you want to buy additional graphics card for this, you can't do it because this graphics card requires 8-pin power. And there's no additional power from this power supply. So you can't power up this graphics card. So you may have to end up buying a graphics card that doesn't require power. So like the low-end graphics card. Okay. Now, your question is, can I change the power supply to a larger capacity where you can have the, uh, uh, the six pin connector to power up the graphics card? The answer is no, because these are proprietary motherboard to Dell, meaning that you can't buy a larger power supply where they don't have the six pin or the four pin connector the way they set it up. And the mounting bracket doesn't fit for a larger power supply, so you can't buy a bigger power supply for this purpose no other choice but have to get a graphics card that doesn't require the power on it and i'll link it in the description below i usually buy all the parts the tools the upgrade everything in um through amazon okay all right so let's move on to the next thing i like to talk about is Wi-Fi, so this is your Wi-Fi, uh, Wi-Fi card, and on the top here is your optical drive. So that's pretty much it. Um, 
let's see. I think I'll end the video here. There's not much to talk about. Uh, there's no upgrade available. Besides, you can change out the hard drive and also the larger solid state drive for additional RAM. That's pretty much it. Very limited upgrade. Home use, basic use is okay. Um, but other than that, not recommend for gaming. Okay, I hope the video helps you. And if you like the video, please go ahead and give me a like. Uh, I will really appreciate you for doing that. And if you have any question regarding about the desktop, comment below. I'll take my, uh, I will make sure I'll respond to you on time. Uh, any of your questions you have. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something today. Bye now.